So this might be the most I've laughed at a movie this entire year. I was not expecting that. So let's talk about it. Teen Titans Go to the Movies is the film version of the Cartoon Network series, Teen Titans Go. The basic setup for the film involves Robin and the Teen Titans desperately wanting a movie made about them so they can feel validated as superheroes. So that's the basic setup for the movie, but that premise does not do justice at all to the actual experience of watching this movie. It's kind of like a kid's version of Deadpool. It's a little bit like if you took the Lego Batman movie and made it a musical, injected Red Bull straight into its heart and gave it a dose of insanity. This is a very high energy meta superhero movie that's a spoof of superhero movies. That's actually very, very funny to watch. Before I get started, go ahead and tell me down below in the comment section, what did you think about Teen Titans Go to the Movies? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Is it too insane for you? Is it too irreverent? Or maybe did you just happen to have a good time with it like I did? With that said, let's get started talking about the good. And easily the best thing about this movie is the humor lens. It's, it is legitimately a very, funny movie. It goes for every joke that you can imagine, where you're talking about just the overt joke setup type situations, or whether you're talking about little references in the back, like every sign on a building, every tape that they pick out to put inside of a VCR has some sort of little gag built into it, subtly in the background. And when I say references, uh, this movie is very much a commentary on movies. It's a, comment on, a commentary on the superhero genre uh, in general. And so you know it's going to obviously pick on DC comic characters, the Justice League, those types of things. And it does that mercilessly. I mean, picking on DC movies extensively. But it is not in any way limited to Warner Brothers or DC Comics. There are some outright parody, blatant parodies of things you will know exactly what it's parodying. There's music cues from big, gigantic blockbuster movies that are not from the same studio. I mean, it, it references everything that you can imagine in ways you're like, I can't believe that they are doing this in this movie. And it's really, really funny every single time that it does it. Speaking of, I can't believe that they're doing this, this movie, um, just, I, I don't know, it feels to, like this movie reminded me what comedy can be in movies. And what I mean by that is it feels like a lot of comedy's been like neutered down if it's not a highly raunchy sex comedy for adults. And while this is a movie that I took my four-year-old daughter to and my six-year-old son to, it has like an edge and a bite to it. And it does things you're like, whoa, I can't believe that they just did that. Um, there's a sequence where they, uh, someone, something happens to an actor, in, a, in, in an actual actor, a name of an actual actor is revealed to be someone and something happens to the person who's like, whoa, I can't believe that you're putting this inside of this movie. This is so outrageous, kind of really offensive. Um, and once again, really, really funny. It just kind of reminded me like when when comedy still has edge and you're not afraid of offending people and being attacked by people when you could just go for it. This is what comedy can be like inside of a movie. And as I mentioned at the beginning, this is a musical and I can't say the songs are good, but they're unbelievably catchy. They get stuck in your heads and you just kind of start repeating them left and right. And the voice cast here is a lot of fun. The standout, of course, being the guy they got to play, Superman. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, just in case you don't know, but it is just, it's just this wonderful little meta joke inside of the film that they got this person to play Superman. And that type of meta humor, references to things, being like the writers of the movie, the characters in the movie, because of the writers of the movie, feel like they're people that know the stuff that nerds know about movie culture and comic book characters and what we think about it. They're in tune, the characters are in tune with us because the writers are in tune with us. So they're cracking all the jokes about it and this casting for Superman perfect example of them just being in tune with what's the best person you could possibly get to play Superman in this superhero kind of spoof movie. With that said, we will move on to the mixed aspects. The mixed thing for here really is the um, 
the scatological humor, the low brow, low hanging fr fruit humor inside of this movie. What I mean by that, there's fart jokes. <laughs> there's fart, fart and poop jokes inside of the movie. They're pretty clever. They find ways to do them in a way that it's like an actual setup. There's a payoff, things like that. They're jokes, not just... <laughs> It's more than just making a noise and having people laugh about it. So it's, it's funny, but it's at the same time, some people just don't like that sort of thing. Likewise, I mentioned that this movie is like the Lego Batman movie. If you inject its heart with Red Bull, uh, it's just chaotic. It's frantic. It moves very fast. It goes on these rabbit trails where it just kind of like goes on this offshoot in this insane direction using a musical number and all. And it's exhausting. And even though I enjoyed it, it wasn't like I was bored. It's just a lot to take in very, very quickly. From there, we'll move on to the negative. I really don't have any big negatives on this one. Nothing overtly negative I can say about it. It's a movie that knows what it is and it stays in its lane quite well. And what I mean by that is it's not trying to be the best movie ever made. It does no aspirations, ambitions to reinvent the comic book genre. It's a movie that's just trying to do everything in its power to entertain you while um, sending up the comic book genre and telling a simple message about trying to get validation through things. And in that... Um, you know, it's not a movie I would ever give like an A plus, but at the same time, it's not a movie that I feel like there's big mistakes. And even where there's theoretical flaws with the film, the, the, the twists and turns are unbelievably predictable. Well, the movie comments on all that. It works it into the uh, meta humor inside the film is that every time it does something that you're like, that was a bit predictable, that's a setup for a joke because the movie's sending up the genre and the way they have these sorts of moments where these, these twists and reveals were like, yeah, that was pretty obvious. Saw that coming a mile away. The movie knows you think that way. And so it comments on whatever you're about to criticize it for. And so for me, it's a movie that knows what it is, pulls it off. Uh, is the kind of this just solid piece of entertainment. It's not an amazing storytelling. It's not amazing character development, just a 90 minutes of entertainment. It's a little bit exhausting at times. So I would score this one a B and on an entertainment level, I would go with an eight out of 10. I, this movie is so much better than I was expecting. I highly predict that this movie is going to make it onto my 10 biggest surprises of the year because I was not expecting to enjoy this movie and it made me laugh a whole, whole lot, which all of the insanity that is on screen inside of this film. This was a fun one. I got to take my kids to see it at the press screening. Here's what they had to say about it. Oh, you hated it? I loved it. I loved it. You loved it? Ah! Is this your favorite movie? Yes. 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 Your favorite movie? <laughs> all right, there you have it their favorite movie.